Good morning, class. Welcome to day three of your still life unit. Please remember to try to complete all your classwork during your regularly scheduled class time. And if that's not an option for you today, just make sure you complete all your work no later than 3 o'clock to avoid any temporary zeros for late or missing assignments. With that said, um, your learning goal today is to create form by applying media to create value. A media or medium is just a tool, so your pencil, for example. So you're going to use value and shading with your pencil to create form to make something look three-dimensional. That's basically what that means. Um, you Today, there's a lot available, as you can see, in the list below us. But this is all important in showing you the last and final step to creating your still life with value with shading. So your central question is, how do artists create work that is pleasing and demands viewers' attention? As we discussed yesterday, they can fill the entire space of the paper. They can add light and shadow value. They can add color. Uh, but most importantly, um, they want to add a variety of things going on, um, not just more of the same. Um, so a bunch of different objects of different sizes and shapes. Um, the more that goes on, the better. The more that the viewer can take in and appreciate um, and um, just observe in the artwork. So your vocabulary for today is value and form. You only need to answer one of those for the entrance ticket, but they both go hand in hand because when you add value or shading to a shape, it just naturally creates form. It makes it three-dimensional or appear three-dimensional. So that's why you have those two vocab words. You want to be thinking about them as one and the same. Your task list for today is to answer the following questions for your entrance ticket. So it's going to take you a few minutes. You're going to answer what is value and how can an artist use value to make a still life engaging to the viewer. <coughs> Excuse me. Please refer to the day one PowerPoint for help with both of these questions. And um, it's meant to be an easy two points. Just make sure you answer both questions and you use that resource of the day one PowerPoint to your advantage. So even though the next there's eight steps here, it's actually pretty easy. All you're basically doing is completing your entrance ticket today. You're going to complete a worksheet that shows you how to shade or how to use value. And then you're just going to start your final project. So it's really those three things, even though they're eight steps. So going to the second step, you're just going to watch the video, How to Shade Basic Forms. Uh, so that way you can basically get, uh, get a demonstration of how to do this uh, as if you were in class yourself. Then if you've done that, you're going to watch another video that says How to Complete Your Value Scale Worksheet. Because you're not in class and I didn't give you a a tangible copy of a worksheet, you're going to watch this video um, on how to basically submit your worksheet and how to complete it using uh, the sketchbook app from your student app portal. So make sure you watch that video. Once you've watched that video, just click on the completed value scale worksheet so you can just see an example of how it should look when it's done. And then once you understand all that, you've watched the video on how to complete it, you've seen the example, then just download the value scale worksheet um, and then upload it to the Sketchbook app and then complete it and, of course, um, submit it. And you're going to submit that completed worksheet to the completed worksheet assignment, which is easy enough. This is worth eight points. Please do this for, A, your easy eight points, but, B, to build your understanding of value and how to apply it in your still life for your final project. Um, and then when you've done that, just practice applying value to a few objects in your sketch so you're not just completing the worksheet, but you're also transferring your understanding to your sketch so you can have room to make mistakes and make edits. Uh, and try to focus on where the light source is coming from. If the light source is coming from the, the right, even though this is your left on the video, but if it's coming from the right, then the shadow will go on the other end um, to the left of the paper. So make sure that you kind of understand how that works. Uh, and then also what will help when starting your final project for step eight, if you switch your photo on your iPad to a grayscale, it'll help um, you see the different shades of gray and black um, and all the highlights in between to create the value uh, to the best of your ability. So that's a recommendation to change that photo to a grayscale. If you need help doing that, just message me and I can show you. You could also even Google it, Google how to change a photo to grayscale on the iPad, and there'll be uh, directions online as well. So um, just start your final project. Please use, I'm going to scroll down here a little bit, if I can get this to move. Here we go. Please use the, um, the, fine, the smooth white paper for your final paper for the project. And you're not just going to submit the project today. I'd like to see the photo of um, 
the still life itself that you're drawing from, your picture. I would like to see a photo of your project. And also if you can submit your sketch where you've shown me you've shaded at least two objects, submit all three of those things to Day 3 Student Progress so you can get all three points. I know it seems like a lot today, but um, the coming days should be a lot easier. Um, we just want to make sure that you understand value um, the best you can uh, when I am not personally in class with you. All right, so please let me know if you have any questions. I'll be here to help you however I can. And I look forward to seeing your completed worksheets and the beginning of your final projects. Okay, bye everyone.